Hello guys, in this video I will talk about the join method in thread. So what does mean by join method? So basically the join method will wait for a thread to die. Okay, so it's not a did guys here, it's a die. Okay, in other words, join method will make sure running thread should complete the execution before other thread to start. Okay, so it's like you have a three thread and all thread started same time. Now I want my first thread first to complete the task then only I want to start my second and third thread that is achieved by the join method which we'll try to understand through the example. So let me uh, make one example here uh, class 5. Okay, here uh, this guy has to extend thread class to make this class as a thread class. Then we will have a run method inside the run method. What I will do is I will write one for loop so that you can understand how join works and how uh, actually this thread is working. I will write int i is equal to 0 i less than 6 i plus plus and i is equal to is equal to 0 sorry so i is equal to 0 right and here i will write thread is a class so thread dot slip okay and i will uh, i will make sure that my thread will slip for 5 seconds so thread class has a static method slip method this slip will uh, slip your thread for 5 seconds okay 5 seconds right so because here the slip method will take argument as a millisecond so 5000 milliseconds is nothing but 5 seconds but this slip method will throw the exception okay this will throw the uh, interrupted exceptions you can see that unhandle exceptions type interrupted exception so click on try and catch click on that when you click on that automatically uh, try catch will get added and do control d this code will go so now you have now try catch block so after the catch block you just write s y s o control space bar and uh, you just try to print the value of i that's it this logic we have inside the run method now we will write a main method in the main method we are going to make the object of this class so basically we will make three object of the class because on one reference I cannot start my thread more than one time on one object reference but if I have three object, I can start my thread three times. So now I will do obj dot start. So this will start my thread and then I will write obj dot join. Okay, I will just join my thread. So again, when we call this join method, this will also throw the exceptions, right? And this will also throw interrupted exceptions. So I can just click on that surround with try catch. So the try catch will get added here. Just click on that try catch yeah so and just remove the do control D so you have a join here and then I can do now obj1 dot start okay this will start my second thread and I will do obj2 dot start right so this object will start again the I mean it will call the run method so see what happens when when you have a join you know what happens your first your first thread will get completed okay then only second and third thread will do the task same time which now we can see here do a right click run as java application so look at the output here so actually we have a sleep of 5 seconds so it is sleeping so see 0 1 
then it will sleep for 5 seconds 2 then it will come 3 3 then just have given a slip so that you can see that how execution is happening then 4 and then 5 right now both the thread will attack now your uh, first thread work is done because you had a join method obj dot join now see both the thread is attacking now 0 0 1 1 same time execution is happening now now it will go 2 2 you can see that so this is the benefit of join so if you want any thread to complete the task you can call join method on that thread so first the thread that particular thread will complete the task then only your next thread, thread will start so you can say that now both the thread is working same time same time but when i called join method here uh, your first thread completed the task then only your second and third thread got started you can see the output also 0 1 2 3 4 5 then you have 0 0 1 1 2 2 because this two thread when we call a start method they started the thread same time right that's how actually join method work now uh, the another example of join method where we can uh, join the thread for certain time also right there is another method overloaded method let me make example 6 here i can copy the same data from here I don't need to redesign again in example 6 and instead of this joining this I can uh, call this to join for let's say I can make this to join for let's say 1500 seconds and this I will make as uh, I mean 5 seconds so now what will happen now so I said my first thread should do alone till 15 seconds. So till 15 seconds, your second and third, uh, third thread will not start. Okay. The moment this 50 seconds will exceed, both thread will jump. So what will happen? First time, your, when this thread will start, it will take 5 seconds. So 0 will get executed. Then again, another 5 seconds. So it becomes 10 seconds. So 1 will get executed then another 5 seconds it become 2 so 2 will get executed and then after 15 seconds all 3 thread will attack ok then after 2 you will get 3 3 I mean you will get after 2 you will get 3 0 0 4 1 1 5 2 2 and then 3 3 everything will attack right so this means that you want you are saying that my thread should wait to finish the task only 15 seconds after that every thread should start working right and here we have a sleep of 5 seconds so this guy will for every run this guy will sleep for 5 seconds so 15 seconds means 3 times this will execute after 3 times and this for loop will run five, uh, 6 times so after 3 times all thread will start together okay let me run this program Look at the output. First, it is waiting for 5 seconds. 0 came. Now, 1 will come. 1 will come. And now, 2 will come because it is waiting for 5, 5 seconds. And then everything will start same time. Now, all 3 will start. See? 0, 0, 3. Because after 2, 3 came, right? And 1, 1, 4. So, again, here, uh, it's everything is decided by thread scheduler. So, you cannot say that which thread will get executed first. 2 to 5 and now it will become only 3 3 so now only 2 2 thread will come because first thread got over now 4 4 will come and then 5 5 will come now 5 5 yeah so that's how you know this join works when you have certain time with this we are done with join method in the thread thank you guys thank you for watching this